everything that moves will be autonomous, either fully or mostly autonomous. By 2024, the vast majority of new EVs will have substantial AV capability. We are developing an end-to-end -end flow for building autonomous vehicles, as well as a full-stack in-car AV system and a global cloud map. NVIDIA Drive is full-stack and an open AV platform. Customers can decide to use just our development flow, parts of our driving computer, connect to our cloud map, or partner with us end-to-end. -end. We're working with companies building cars, SUVs, sports cars, trucks, vans, robo-taxis, and food delivery vehicles. Driving is fundamentally um, uh, vi basically almost entirely vision neural nets. Uh, like we're basically, it's, it's, it's running on a biological vision neural net. Um, and what we're doing here is a silicon uh, camera neural net. Um, so and there, are, there is some amount of uh, audio. Uh, you know, you want to hear uh, if um, there's like emergency vehicles or, uh, you know, uh, I guess converse with the people in the car. Um, uh, you know, if somebody's yelling something at the, at, at the car, that the car needs to understand what that is. Um, so, you know, all the things that are necessary for it to uh, be fully autonomous. Autonomous vehicles are robots. And the same three pillars of machine learning development apply. Training models with NVIDIA AI and DGX, simulation and synthetic data generation with DriveSim on Omniverse, and a real-time robotics pipeline with Drive AV on the Orin robotics chip. The first goal is to transform the data from surround sensors into a 4D world model. The left image is showing the surround cameras. The right image is the world model, essentially the mind of the car. With a high integrity and high precision world model, we use it to avoid obstacles, localize to a map, reason about the environment, and plan paths to reach our destination. It starts with the sensor and computing architecture of the car. The design should allow for high fidelity sensing, redundancy and failover safety, with sufficient computing power and programmability to process software improvements for the life of the car. Uh, I lead the vision team here at Tesla Autopilot, and I'm incredibly excited to be here uh, to kick off this section, giving you a technical deep dive into the Autopilot stack and showing you all the under the hood components that go into making the car drive all by itself. So we're going to start off with the vision component here. Now in the vision component, what we're trying to do is we're trying to design a neural network that processes the raw information, uh, which in our case is the eight cameras that are positioned around the vehicle. And they send us images, and we need to process that in real time into what we call the vector space. And this is a three-dimensional representation of everything you need for driving. So this is the three-dimensional positions of lines, edges, curbs, uh, traffic signs, traffic lights, uh, cars, their positions, orientations, depths, velocities, and so on. So here I'm showing the video of the raw inputs that come into the stack, and then neural network processes that into the vector space. And you are seeing parts of that vector space rendered in the instrument cluster on the car. This is Hyperion 8, the architecture of 2024 models. The sensor suite is 12 cameras, nine radars, 12 ultrasonics, and one front LIDAR. All of this is processed by two ORINs. For the dev kit, we include Ampere GPUs to give plenty of performance headroom so that engineers can have the best environment to prototype new software. Hyperion 8 is available today. For anyone developing an AV, or sensors for AV, Hyperion 8 is an ideal platform. We collect petabytes of road data from around the world and have some 3,000 trained labelers creating training data. Still, synthetic data generation is a cornerstone of our data strategy. Here you see a scene through the simulated surround cameras with data labeled automatically. And on the right, some of the AI models that were trained with the data. Drive Sim Replicator is a synthetic data generator for autonomous vehicles and is built on Omniverse. Now, what I find kind of fascinating about this is that we are effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up. So the car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around, it senses the environment, and uh, you know, acts autonomously and intelligently. And 
We are building all of the components from scratch in-house. So we are building, of course, all of the mechanical components of the body, the nervous system, which is all of the electrical components, and for our purposes, the brain of the autopilot, and specifically for this section, the synthetic visual cortex. Now, the biological visual cortex actually has quite intricate structure and a number of areas uh, that organize the information flow of this brain. And so in particular, in, our, in your visual cortices, um, the information hits the um, light, hits the retina, goes through the LGN all the way to the back of your visual cortex, goes through areas V1, V2, V4, the IT, the ventral and the dorsal streams, and the information is organized in a certain layout. And so when we are designing the visual cortex of the car, we also want to design the neural network architecture of how the information flows in the system. Mapping is a critical pillar of driving. It is the collective memory of the fleet and can be considered another sensor. A couple of months ago, we welcomed DeepMap to our company. DeepMap is a world-leading expert in mapping for autonomous driving. Between DeepMap and our existing map team, we're scaling out globally. We do both survey mapping and fleet mapping. Fleet mapping crowdsources, or with one car, incrementally builds up a drivable map. With each drive, more of the route is perceived and reconstructed in 3D. Survey mapping is a fleet dedicated to mapping we will have a fleet to survey map the most popular areas in the world. Survey maps prime the fleet even before it's launched. It also serves as the ground truth data for our cloud mapping AI system. One of the things we're seeing is that the car's predictive ability is, um, is quite, is eerily good. Um, it's, it's really getting better than human in terms of predicting, like you say, like what, pr predict what this road will look like uh, out, when it's out of sight, like it's around the bend and it predicts the road with very high accuracy. Um, and, uh, you know, predict pedestrians or cyclists wherever behind, you know, where it just sees a little corner of the bicycle and a little bit through, through the windows of the bus. Uh, and it, it's, it's, its ability to predict things is gonna be much better than humans, like really way, way beyond. We're now running Hyperion 8 sensors, 4D perception, deep learning-based multi-sensor fusion, feature tracking, and a new planning engine. This is our Mercedes Hyperion 8, driving a route of urban streets and highways near our headquarters. You will see Mercedes negotiate merges, crosswalks, intersections, a roundabout, a cloverleaf, merge contenders, cut-ins and pedestrians. Enjoy.